is Sean Lovren. I'm from the Enable Ireland AT Training Service. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can adapt uh, a wireless mouse to you and then use as a low cost wireless switch. So, this would uh, enable access to programs such as the Grid from Sensory Software, and the, the wireless mouse would then act as a, a wireless switch or the switch interface. So the mouse I'm going to use is the Microsoft Bluetooth mouse, but any uh, wireless mouse uh, would, would do. So uh, how we're going to do this is we're going to make a connection inside uh, of the mouse on the circuit board to the left mouse button. So underneath this here, the left mouse button, we have a micro switch and we can make a, a solder connection uh, to that there. And then I'm going to uh, connect it to a jack socket and I'm going to mount the jack socket onto the, uh, the, the body of the mouse. So this would then allow you to use something like uh, a, a switch, an external switch, then to, to emulate the left mouse button. So the tools what we're going to need for this are uh, a solder and iron to make the, the electrical connections, some solder, we're going to need a length of wire, the wire I'm using is multi-strand wire, so uh, I'm also going to need a drill for, for drilling the hole in the case and a set of drill bits. Uh, I'm going to need a multimeter just to find uh, uh, how things are connected and, and uh, I'm going to need some screwdrivers to take the mouse apart. So in terms of removing the cover, what's involved is we have to make sure we remove any screws. So I know there is a screw here underneath the battery compartment or within it. Uh, and sometimes we can get a screw underneath the, uh, the, the, the pads here. But in this case, uh, the main one is uh, under within this battery compartment. So once the screw is removed, uh, we can uh, pull the, the cover off. And what we need to do is make connection to uh, the, the, the micro -switch, switch here. So a good idea, first of all, before you know touching any of the circuitry, is to make sure that your earth and you're not carrying any uh, static on your body, which could uh, cause damage to the circuitry on the board. So in my case, I, I'm using an anti-static mat. Uh, this kind of dissipates any uh, charge that might be in my body. But uh, what you could do is touch something uh, you know nearby, which is earth such as a radiator or something that's plugged into mains and has a metal uh, chassis on it. Okay, so the connection I'm making is to here. So I'm going to remove uh, the board. And so. Once you have the circuit board removed, turn it over to see the underside of the circuit board. You need to find the two pins uh, of the switch that you want to solder to. Now in this case it's quite easy because there's only two pins coming up from the switch. Now you may come across other circuits where there's more than one, more than two pins on the switch. So it makes it necessary to use a continuity tester or a multimeter. So what you do is you find the two pins that close uh, when the switch is pressed and then open again when the switch is released. When you have identified the pins, cut two lengths of wire, about 15 centimeters in length. Prepare the wires for soldering by removing a small piece of the insulation from each end. About two or three millimeters of insulation should be enough. Then heat the solder onto the ends of the wire Make sure it's hot enough so that it flows up through the strands of the wire and then solder these two wires onto the two pins of the switch. Once we have soldered we can refit the circuit board back into position 
Now you need to solder the wires onto the socket. It's easier to do this before you mount it onto the casing. The, if the socket is a stereotype connector, then solder one wire onto the common and the other wire onto any of the other two terminals. When you've soldered the wires onto the socket, uh, you need to mount it, the socket onto the cover of the mouse. Now panel mounted sockets are mounted from the inside with a small section of the socket that protrudes uh, on through to the outside and then uh, use the retaining screw to uh, keep the socket in position. Finally, check with the use of an external switch to see if it also performs the left mouse click. In a clinical situation, if you are adapting the mouse for a client or a patient and it funds, falls under the medical device, then you must perform an appropriate risk assessment and carry out other responsibilities. So consider the intended use of the device and identify the hazards and estimate the risks.